My name is Emily Maguire and I'm a singer-songwriter. I have bipolar disorder, which means I'm going to have to read this because my memory is terrible. <laughs> I do gigs in art centres and theatres across the country, but I also do gigs in mental health hospitals. And the feedback I've had from staff and patients has been amazing. Medication and talking therapies are an important part of the recovery process. But music seems to connect to a part of the brain so deeply that not even dementia can destroy it. The benefits of music are well documented, but we all know for ourselves how beneficial music is. We don't need scientists to tell us. We play music when we're happy, when we're sad, when we're celebrating and when we're grieving. The last time I was sectioned, I was in a hospital in London where they let me keep my guitar on the acute ward. And aside from singing endless Bob Marley songs in the smoking room, I wrote a song called Falling on My Feet. And it turned out to be a kind of premonition because four years later, I found myself on stage on my own at the Royal Albert Hall, singing it to 4,000 people. I've had several episodes since then, but every time I fall down, I recover again. And this recovery is helped massively by using my creativity. All this energy in our heads is so powerful. When it's being channeled outwards, it's incredibly creative and positive. But if it's not being channeled outwards, it turns in on us and becomes nervous energy that just creates depression and anxiety. Music and the arts in general is an opportunity to learn, to be just stimulated, to find a creative way to distract ourselves from our minds and to express the emotions that sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. So I would like to say thank you to SANE for promoting the creative arts for people like me. It's a lifesaver.